So today, I'm going to be showing you unethical BT6 tricks. Now, what do I mean by unethical? Just basically tricks that I would not recommend from a moral standpoint. But they're still pretty useful and pretty cool. So yeah, let's get right into it. So I, th I think this first one, we all know it. It's how to avoid death on any map and any game mode. So let me quickly show you how to do it. So let's say here, I'm here on my map. And let's actually let one round go by. So I'm about to lose. So before you lose, you forcefully close your game. So alt to 4. So now once we get back into the game, as you can see, we did not lose. We did lose a couple of lives, but we did not lose completely. So if you're in a game mode or whatever, and you're about to lose... You can literally just do that and not lose. Now the next tip is basically let's say you want you want to test out a strategy or just play a game normally and you know you're going to die a lot and you really do not want to spend all your monkey money on continues. Well, this next tip is for you. So you go to the challenge browser, you put your game on however you want it. So let's just, I'm just going to quickly put it here on Cubism and you just have to play normally. So as you can see, we're all we're going to lose here. Now I can literally just retry that round, which is basically continue without spending a single dollar on monkey money so this is super useful just for playing casually and just you know playing normally and it's a tip that i honestly use a lot myself and honestly really really helpful so our next quarter con trick is basically just using mods like mods are insanely useful you can do an insane a lot of stuff with them you can add and it's pretty much a ridiculous amount of towers you can add a lot of content you can play a lot of stuff and you can also make your life easier like like with the faster forward mod and other stuff like that so this is not really a trick in itself but it's something that i, that I really wanted to show so next we have the powers in shop mod so if you didn't know powers actually cost monkey money which in some certain scenarios could cost money and i know a lot of people do not have monkey money so there's this mod called powers in shop where if you go to a map all powers are here in the little menu so you literally don't have to pay a single dollar of monkey money you can just play normally there's not all of them but pretty much the one you the ones you need so yeah, this is insanely useful you don't need to spend any monkey money at all and it's just really good if you don't have much now next one here's where stuff starts to get a little bit more unethical like here's the unethical part so next we have super mega hacked accounts with like in like two billion monkey money two billion levels now i have no idea how to get these accounts i just i just know that it, they exist i'm pretty sure it's just a mod that if you put it into your game it automatically makes your account insanely op and like literally unlocks everything i have never used it personally so i mean i, I can't really speak for it but uh the balloon made a video on it i'm gonna probably put it in the screen right now he explains how this works and and honestly how to use it so if you want to learn more about that watch his video and this is that, that that's actually peak on ethicality like that's insane like it literally unlocks everything in the shop all infinite mon monkey money it's pretty crazy and before the final one which is the most unethical and honestly the most useful we have a little combo that i wanted that i wanted to show you which is the price changer mod which basically allows you to change the price of all towers so you do that with f11 and you put it like this and then you go into a map let's say we go here and as you can see everything is free so like then you can literally get like insane amount of stuff and then just put it on like times 25 times speed with the faster forward mod and just absolutely get insane amount of like monkey money super easily and even just chimps medals because everything's free so you can literally just do this and do that that's pretty insane honestly so now for the final most insane tip so you know in the store how there's this little thing called double cash mode well this thing costs money and actually quite a bit of money i'm pretty sure it's 18 us dollars which not many people have and not many people have that um, that amount of money to spend in a video game so if you really don't want to do that and you want to be peak on ethicality you can download this mod called multi cash which basically allows you to multiply the cash you gain from any source even banana farms which even the original double cash mode doesn't do so all you have to do is click F F10 and then multiply the amount of cash you get by however you want. So yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. So let's go into the game and I'll show you how this works. As you can see, I don't have double cash or anything. I'm poor. So let's just get this guy. And as you can see, we make $2. So, and I didn't spend a single dollar at all. So you can, you can literally do this and get double cash without spending money. Now, I do have to preface this. You, you see what I mean by unethical now? 
So and then you can also get like crazy amounts of money and do something like that. If you want to be that guy, really, honestly, if you want to channel your inner player three. The reason I call this a unethical, uh, I guess, tip is because, I mean, obviously, this is the way Ninja Kiwi makes money, makes revenue to actually provide for these games. So you could do this, you technically could, but at some point you have to ask yourself, should I do this, right? I mean, I'm not here to tell you what, what to do or what to not do, but... If you're planning on actually using this, just just think about the moral implications this has. So yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful some way. And also, don't take this video too seriously. I mean, yeah, it is a little bit unethical, but hey, I mean, this is public information, you know? So yeah, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.